How's he going? Well, um, this is an unboxing video of all the things that I could be doing. Um, Carpetec, um, over up there, that thing there, um, it's a jointer. I've got a thicknesser. Um, this is different. So let's see what happens when you open the box. Owner's manual. It's probably important. <clears throat> now these things, a bit of cardboard, I reckon I'm going to use them to help me clamp stuff up sometime. We'll see how that works. Well, there's a red thing. Now, these things. I've got a bunch of orange ones from Hafco, I think. Um, handy to have, worth the 20 or 30 bucks you might spend to buy them by themselves. Um, nice that there's a couple in the kit. If you watch my other videos, you know I'm going to stick some PVC on that. So this is the helical head. Um, so it's got the little um, tungsten or high speed steel or whatever they are, chip things that you can undo and take off. That's pretty exciting. The bed feels like it's cast and it's small enough, light enough, that I can pick it up and uh, move it around to suit myself um, where I want to work. I prefer to take my tools outside um, if I can. So that's um, quite a good thing. Pretty exciting actually. The tool I'm using is the Torx driver, which is for actually refitting the um, uh, cutters when they get worn out. It fits nicely in the Allen thing, it's a bit easy to use, but you wouldn't do it up tight with this because you'll destroy the tip or you'll carve out the thing in the um, head of the bolt. Well, I feel like that was pretty straightforward. Um, not terribly difficult to put together. Ready to go. Um, just got to find a home for it. Right, so my usual PVC trick is going to be a bit, a uh, little bit more this time round because it moves around a bit. Not much, but enough for it to probably fall off. Um, while I'm using it, which is not what I want. Now the space is not much, but I feel like a little bit of this um, foam tape probably won't need much, maybe that much. Carefully put that underneath like this. Let me get our jobby here. which isn't going to be big enough, so I'll have to toddle off and find a bigger, uh, smaller one. Righto, so this one here is um, a better fit. It's already squeezing it up a little bit, which is handy. We'll um, go the zot zot and see what happens. There you go, firm enough. We'll chuck the uh, big sucker on there and uh, we'll see how she works. So what we've got here is um, a bit of 45, um, sorry, 90 degree angle. And that will slide under there, nice and firm. And then I'll get my tube from the um, sucker and it just goes up into there. 
I'll actually go out a bit so you can see. Um, turn that around there. So that's basically the setup for the vacuum. Now we'll give her a bit of a run. Right, so we've got a couple of settings here. It's got a gauge which um, tells you the depth that it's going to cut, which I assume is how high, um, you can't actually see that, but how high it lifts the cutter um, up past the leading edge or the leading deck. Um, and then you've got a lock off here, which allows you to hold it in place, and then you've got a knob down the side here which changes it. I'm going to set it to, so you wind it out there, we've got one millimetre. I'm going to set it to half a millimetre just for my first pass because I don't know how this is handle it and the timber I'm using is reasonably hard stuff. So we'll lock that off and then uh, we'll take you up over the top and you can have a look. Right, so little test, pretty happy. Anyway, take care, see you around.